Trade. It's all around us, fueling the global economy, moving goods, driving prosperity, and creating opportunity. But a new global trade order is emerging. Protectionism, supply chain barriers, and digital transformation have become the order of the day and are redefining world trade. So how will trade evolve over the next decade? How will trade drive the global economy and deliver growth? And how will trade be impacted by the digital revolution? As the world's flagship free zone and global hub for commodity trade, DMCC set out to find the answers. For 12 months, DMCC traversed the globe and engaged with the world's leading commodity trade hubs and their industry experts. Here are some of the key findings. Emerging protectionist trade policies in the West have challenged the status quo, disavowing existing multilateral trade arrangements. A looming trade war between the USA and China could prove dear and cost the global economy an estimated $470 billion. Brexit and the strained trading relationship between the EU and the UK is creating further uncertainty. Meanwhile, the world's economic centre of gravity continues to shift towards Asia. Why? Namely China. Its Belt and Road Initiative is set to drive global trade over the next decade. Trade with the 70 countries it's connected to will surpass $2.5 trillion each year for the next 10 years. China has been a global manufacturing hub for decades. With a deliberate shift towards advanced manufacturing, the country is expected to free up nearly 85 million labour-intensive manufacturing jobs between 2016 and 2030. New manufacturing hubs have already emerged, Myanmar and Vietnam being examples. Vietnam increased its exports six-fold in the last decade. Meanwhile, Africa is home to 30% of the Earth's remaining mineral resource. Most African countries will reach middle-income status by 2025, with its GDP expected to hit $29 trillion by 2050. Africa's rise and Asia's growth will see trade hubs like Dubai become even more important, owing to its connectivity between East and West. The Commodity Trade Index placed the UAE as the number one trade hub for commodities, a position it is expected to retain over the coming decade. Digitalization will reduce cost and boost trade revenue over the next decade. The cost of doing trade globally is $1.8 trillion, 20% of which is the price of paperwork. A staggering $360 billion saving is at stake here. And this is where blockchain can enter the fold by providing a secure, decentralized record of transactions with simpler, automated workflows and smart contracts. Reducing supply chain barriers to trade could further increase global GDP by nearly 5% and trade volumes by 15%. Meanwhile, the value enabled by digital transformation, including AI, 3D printing and robotics, is estimated at $45 trillion. Put simply, the future of trade is digital. Trade finance is a catalyst for expanding global trade, yet banks reject 50% of SME applications for funding creating a $1.5 trillion trade finance gap. Fintech and blockchain can help bridge the divide for SMEs with the provision of alternative trade finance solutions otherwise unavailable. New players will emerge to compete with banks and provide trade finance to sectors typically overlooked. Changes in the air, with the APAC region alone seeing the size of its alternative finance market more than double between 2015 and 2016. Sustainable supply chains don't just reduce environmental impact. They drive operational efficiency and shrink cost. It's no wonder leading companies in sustainable practice have a 25% higher stock value. 
And with 66% of consumers willing to pay more for sustainable products, a sustainable model is the only viable way forward. Reduce, reuse, recycle and return. This will transform the future of trade. Despite uncertainty, confusion and market instability, globalization remains an economic, strategic and political force for good. Digital transformation and data will drive global trade in the years to come, not rhetoric. Protectionist policies, isolationist stances and trade barriers are temporary. Trade has and will always seek the path of least resistance. Trade wants to be free. The future of trade is digital. The future of trade is global. To find out more, download the report at futureoftrade.com.